hello friends from last few lectures we are studying the operators and today we are going to see one more category that is unary operator now i hope all of you know the meaning of unary operator still i'll explain it again so unary operator means what the operator which requires single operand what it means it requires how many operand it requires single operand okay and we already saw the meaning of this in our operator introduction video right so the operator which requires single operand is known as unary operator now there are four unary operators first one is unary minus second one is logical not we actually we studied this in last lecture that is in in logical operators then next one is increment operator which is specified by two plus sign and the last one is decrement operator which is specified by two hyphen sign or two minus sign okay now we already studied this part logical not those who are not familiar with this please watch the video of logical operators okay there you will, there you will get a explanation of this now first of all we will see the unary minus okay now unary minus is used to change the sign of any number means for example okay i'll explain the unary operator or unary minus operator here which is specified by minus sign okay now you might wonder that what is the difference between unary minus and subtraction right so let me complete this first say i have one value variable say a which is having value 5 now if i say minus a what it means it means minus 5 so whenever you want to change the sign of any number you want to negate that number or change the sign of any number in that case you can use unary minus operator now what is the difference between minus unary minus and subtraction operator usually subtraction operator is written like this okay look at the syntax huh? carefully how is this is written in unary operator generally sign is written first or operator is written first which is followed by the operand and in case of binary operator first operand appears first operand appears then operator and then after the second operand so if you are using it in this way computer automatically consider this as a unary minus operator and if you are using the same sign in this way it will be considered as subtraction operator in the same way there is unary plus operator also but plus has uh, plus do not uh, perform any kind of operation it it keeps the sign of number same as its original sign so that's why we generally do not consider it but unary minus might be required for you okay so i hope you understand this concept okay of unary minus then logical not that i already told you now let us see the increment operator which is specified by plus plus sign now as the name suggest increment it increments the value okay increments the value of what increments the value of variable by 1 okay remember this thing the increment operator increments the value by 1 it increments value by 1 now how to write this as i told you in a uh, as i told you the syntax of unary minus first of all your operator will appear and then after your variable will appear now what it does it increments the value of x by 1 so after this your x will have the value 6 so this is your result okay now increment operator can be written can be written in a two forms okay so let us see that forms two forms of increment operator first one is called as prefix form and second one is called as postfix form 
okay now here this form that i wrote is prefix form okay why it is called as in the why it is called as prefix form because your sign appears first here your sign appears first and then after the operand now if i want to write the expression in post fix form how do we how do i write x plus plus x plus plus now this is the form of post fix form this is a post fix form now here your operand appear first and then after your sign or operator therefore it is called as post fix form now increment and decrement operator both are exceptions to the unary operator syntax because generally unary operators are written like this means first of all your operator will appear and then after your operand will appear okay first of all your operator will appear and then after your operand will appear so this is an exception now what is the difference between these two if i write my increment operator in prefix form or if i write my increment operator increment operator in post fix form okay what is the difference there is no difference both statement are going to increment the value of x by 1 for example let me write it here say i have value of variable x as 5 if i write down this statement x plus sorry plus plus x my result will be 6 again if i value of x as 5 if i write it x plus plus my value of x will be 6 okay now what is the difference between post fix form and prefix form i'll definitely tell you but first of all we'll cover the decrement operator and then we'll see the difference between post fix and prefix form so let us see decrement operator now decrement operator is specified by 2 hyphen sign or 2 minus pi sign and what it does it decrements the value by 1 what it does it decrements value by 1 okay now how it how it can be written it is again also written in two forms prefix and post fix so plus sorry not plus now we are using decrement operator so minus minus x this is prefix form and x minus minus this is post fix form okay so syntactically both are same just you have to change the operator increment will increment the, increase the value of variable by 1 and decrement operator will decrease the value value by 1 okay i hope you understood this concept of decrement operator now we are going to see the difference between post fix and prefix operator okay now let us see the difference between post fix and prefix form of increment and decrement operator now consider that i have a variable uh, sorry i have a variable x which is having value 5 and if i say plus plus x so definitely your answer is x will be 6 yes you are right but if i use this operator with another operator okay if i use this operator with another operator now there are two operator this is one operator and this is another operator as all of you know that this is plus plus is increment operator and this equal to sign is assignment operator equal to sign is what assignment operator actually we are going to study the assignment operator but i'll just tell you what is the purpose of assignment operator okay assignment operator what it does it assigns the value of right hand side to left hand side okay what assignment operator does it assign the value at right hand side to left hand side means here i assign a value 5 to x okay now here i use two operators equal to 
as well as increment operator okay equal to as well as increment operator now when more than one operators get introduced in your statement okay we have to decide a precedence that which operator to be executed first right see whenever you are performing the addition multiplication division simultaneously okay what you do you first of all check the precedence the operator which has high precedence are evaluated first and then after the operators which have low precedence are executed later or evaluated later same thing computer can also follows so here since more than one operators get introduced computer has to decide the precedence okay now assignment operator okay assignment operator has very low precedence or low priority sorry low priority okay so here your x value get incremented first okay this operation will be executed first and then result of this plus plus will be assigned to y okay means y will be 6 and x is also 6 okay so i'm just going to write the equivalent statement here here first plus plus x will be done then y will be x this is equivalent statement to which part to this part okay to which part to this part okay hmm? now instead of writing this two statement okay and we we can write down it in a single statement i hope you got my point hmm? here what happens your value of x will be incremented first and then after it will be assigned to y hmm? so same statement i am writing here i increment the value of x and then after i am assigning it to the y okay so whenever you are using increment or decrement operator in prefix form okay so that increment or decrement of op operation will be evaluated first and then after other operate operations get evaluated now if i do a same thing in post fix form if i do same thing in a post fix form say again i'll say x is equal to 5 and here this time i'll say y is equal to x plus plus now here your equality of op assignment operation will be performed first and then after x plus plus will be done so whenever we are using increment or decrement operator in post fix form okay whenever we are you uh, using increment and decrement operator in post fix form okay post fix form operation perform at last okay after executing all the operations basically assignment operator has very low priority what are operators we have studied till now the assignment operator has very lower priority except in this case or in this scenario whenever we are using in increment or decrement operator in post fix form in that case post fix form operator has lower priority even than the assignment operator so here what will be your result your y will be 5 means first of all the value of x get assign value of x get assign to y and then after x, x get incremented so x is going to be incre incremented anyhow it is going to be incremented and now whether you use it in the prefix form or whether you use it in a post fix form definitely it is going to be incremented but when you are using with it with another operators in that case which value of x is going to be used a current value or incremented value that will be depend on post fix or prefix form so if you are using it in a post fix form in that case current value of x will be used and after performing all the operation the value of x will be incremented but if you use it in a prefix form 
the incremented value of x will be used and then other operations are evaluated so whenever there is a necessity of using the current value first and then after incrementing or decrementing in that case you will go for post fix form and if you want incremented value to be used or decremented value to be used first in that case you will go for prefix form now let me write a equivalent statement for this so this particular part is equivalent to y is equal to x and x plus plus or plus plus x do not matter when you use this operator individually it do not matters or it do not affects the result but if you are using it with another operator then your result might changes okay so instead of writing this two set this two statement what we did we write one single statement so always remember again i repeat whenever you want to use incremented or decrement value first and then after another operation we go for prefix form but if you want to use current value and then you want to increment or decrement you can go for post fix form okay i hope you understand this concept and in the same way you can use decrement operator whenever we are going to study a advanced programming language uh, of c of c only in that case we are going to see the examples also thank you